Today we're looking at the trailer for the new Zac Efron movie, Gold. Where does it fall on the leaderboards, and is it worth its weight? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Movie Trailer Rankings. We're on a journey to find out which trailers are best and why, so join us as we watch, review, and rank this week's trailers. All right, let's get started. I'm supposed to meet a man here to take me to the compound. Came from the west, right? Here it's getting pretty bad out that way now. Folks turning on each other. So why the compound? Seems a strange place to be heading. Once in a lifetime opportunity. What is it? Come here! Look at this! That's gold. We just found a pile of gold! <laughs> One of us will have to get the excavator to get it out. I think I'll stay with the gold. You gotta watch your water. Gotta stay out of the sun. Ain't no joke out here. How much longer? Going as fast as I can. So you're here on your own? You need to leave. Out here, things start to get real strange. strange, strange. Where are you? Has she seen the gold? I think they're hiding something. You gotta get rid of her. <laughs> Where are you? I'm close. I did my part. Huh? I found it. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> Not gonna handle it. All right. Hey, well, if this is your first time here, first of all, welcome. But if you don't know how we rank movie trailers, you want to learn more about that, we did make a video for you and you can find a link to it here in the upper right hand corner of the screen or in the description below. Definitely check it out. In order for us to rank this trailer, we're going to take a look first at some what we call critical non-factors. These are things about the movie that the trailer editor uh, had to either work with or work around things that we don't want to use as we're ranking the trailer because this is about the trailer, whether we think it's a good trailer or not, whether it's a good movie. First off, for this movie is casting, and that's, I only say that because there's a limited cast here. Uh, I like Zac Efron. I've seen him in a lot of stuff. Uh, but can you know can he carry a whole movie like this all on his own? And I'm sure he's done similar projects, uh, but this looks like it's a pretty dramatic turn, and uh, he's an entertaining actor. We'll just sort of see how that goes, but whether we, how we feel about that, whether we like him, like this idea, we're going to set that aside. That's, that's not something we're going to put on this trailer. Then, I think sometimes when you see a simple setup like this, it's kind of easy to pick some holes in the plot. Like, I can probably think off the top of my head about eight better ways to handle this situation that they're in rather than just leave one guy behind to possibly die in the desert. So, I mean, obviously, no, if just off the top of my head, I mean, nobody's found this gold in a long time. What's the chances they're going to find it in the time it takes you to go back and get a truck? I don't, anyway, there's maybe there are better explanations in the movie. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, I'm not going to let that affect whether or not we think this is a good trailer. And then lastly, I think the first thing I would do, first thing I would buy with all this gold that they're finding here is some sunscreen. Because, man, I, now I often, I don't often complain about things like hair and makeup and stuff like that. And I'm not going to use that to, I'm not going to hold that against the trailer here. But I, I, and I definitely can see what they're going for in, in terms of like all the, the sunburn and I mean, but he's, he's got medical problems at this point. This isn't just sort of like overexposure. My point is that, uh, it, even if it's accurate, it can be a distraction. And I think that that can, if it takes me out of the movie, you know, while I'm watching it, then I, I think that's, that's a possible problem. Regardless, I'm not going to hold that against this trailer. So let's move on and talk about scoring. 
Now, I think this is an interesting and a challenging trailer to create. Uh, maybe it's like trying to make the trailer, cut the trailer for like Castaway or something like that. But we, we don't have Tom Hanks here. We have Zac Efron, like we said. And so the question is, can he carry this movie? And so the trailer editors are actually uh, really left with no choice but to lean into that. Uh, so as you're trying to cut a trailer for this movie, you have to you have to make some space for him to perform and to uh, and I think they've done that here. And so uh, hopefully the the scores reflect that. It it looks like a, a serious movie and his performance is is compelling. And the the editors have cut a trailer that allows allows him to sh to shine. So the the trailer and makeup <laughs> uh, and sunburns not. Withstanding the the trailer really kind of keeps things moving though it feels like this could be a movie with some pretty long maybe dull stretches to it the trailer keeps keeps moving and that's good even so I, this trailer could be shorter by maybe 20 30 seconds and I think it would feel just as good just as compelling uh, so it runs a little bit long there in my opinion the trailer's asking poor Zach if the gold is worth it. And that's the that's the question that we're sort of left with for him. We're asking ourselves if this trailer is worth it. I think it is. So overall, we're going to give the trailer for gold a score of 7 out of 10. So let's take a look at the leaderboards and see where it ends up. This week it's fallen around the middle and it's just outside of the top 10 for the year. Hey, if you like what you're seeing here and you want to see more content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell button. Uh, it, it really helps out our channel. And let us know in the comments, hey, what would you buy with uh, the gold? If you're not going to buy sunscreen, maybe what's, what would you buy with this gold? Let's, let's hear about that. And let us know, too, if you think we got it right or wrong. Okay, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.